Oh boy! I literally don't think there's a safe way to do this at this point. The new Obi-Wan Kenobi show just dropped on Disney Plus, and I love Star Wars. So I'm gonna try to make a lightsaber out of epoxy and wood. So first thing we need to do is pour the resin so it dries. It takes like three or four days sometimes. We're pouring two. I made some tiny molds. These could potentially be the smallest molds I've ever made. And we're gonna make like two inch by two inch by 36 inch rectangles. We're gonna do a translucent blue and a translucent green. Blue for Obi-Wan, green because we're awesome. So we're gonna get these suckers poured and then uh, we'll get on to working on the hill. We're going with River Table Epoxy's Deep Pour Epoxy Resin. Used this a bunch in the past. The reason we're using it is, it's honestly, it's just math. So I need 80 ounces, and this is a three to one kit. Instead of the other kits we use, which are one to one or two to one, that gives me four parts equally. So I need 20 ounces of resin. I think this is a three minute -er. Can I make a lightsaber out of resin? Motherfucker! Pressure pot that song, bitch. I did an exact volume calculation for the exact amount. We good. That's a good color. I mean, that's like really close. Sam can't help himself. Go ahead, go, go, go. Send, send, send. So that blue's, blue's gonna be really dark. Wild to watch the bubbles come into the center. Cool. Three days later. All right, these have had a few days to set up and ooh, clean break. They look good. They look pretty clear. Huh? Be a man. I thought I broke the resin. Oh, thank goodness. We had a tiny leak. Wow, that mold release works in insanely good. Thanks, Blake. Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. That color looks really good. This blue is so finicky. I built this mold so stupid and so smart to say that. Oh, be a man. Mm -hmm. Now the question is, can I make this round? <laughs> All right, so I've got some maple here, and I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna cut it down and try to turn a hilt. I think maple's pretty easy to turn. I don't have a ton of experience, but we're gonna find out. I went ahead and knocked the corners off of this to make it a little easier. And then <clears throat> I could come over to the lathe and I'm gonna turn this thing round first, or at least I'm gonna try to. And then I'll come back and start adding details. I got a photo of Obi-Wan's lightsaber and it's pretty freaking intricate, go figure. So I think there's gonna be a lot of just like stopping what I'm doing, realigning with the drawing. And I'm gonna turn the whole thing into a tube first, if I can. And then it basically, I don't know how the hell I'm gonna do other parts, but nothing to it but to do it. Let's go. Bring your, bring your hand over here. I mean, it's not perfect, but damn it, that's close. For like the first thing I've ever turned, I need, I'm gonna start with the, cause the front's gonna get fragile. So I'm gonna start in the back here. And then we're gonna have to add these parts. So this is not to scale, cause I'm, a, I'm an idiot. I can like turn that on and then we'll do something that's like here to here. And then this is all ribbing. The head will come to like here. Okay, so that for me, is like, I need to cut this down, cut that down slightly, a little more, then this is gonna stay what it is. And then this is where we're gonna, I'm gonna do a bunch of like. Okay, so now you can kind of see what I'm thinking. Now I gotta make it look like, we're gonna have to add some parts and stuff to it, I think. But let's let it rip, huh? I mean, just saying, that shape looks like that shape, doesn't it? Sure kind of? It looks more like it than not. Oh, I don't know if I'm terrified or freaking pumped. Regardless, I'm feeling things. <laughs> it's getting less and less shitty. Just being one hunted with the kids, this is a lot of fun. I mean, if you're looking to have some fun, turn a lightsaber. <laughs> This is going so much better than I thought it was. I have this last little part now. So 
Here's my concern, check this out. I've got what looks to be, what's, what I'm trying to get to be close to the front here. And you guys gotta remember, I'm not a turner, so I don't know if this is the right or the wrong way, but this part here is where I see a lot of issues potentially popping up for like strength wise. So I'm gonna turn this little part here down and you can see this is this part here. And then I got that, that looks pretty good. That's looking pretty good up to that part. So I'm really concerned about this. So I'm just gonna take my time, hopefully not freaking ruin it. That would suck, but it's looking awesome. Hey, holy shit, holy shit. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Dude, oh my goodness. I mean, let's be honest, like if, if you carve these little like horizontal things right here, even if you didn't put a button on it, there's no mistaking what that is. It's super close. For like being a total freaking jag with no clue what he's doing. You did that? No, a computer came out of the office and did it. I'm impressed. The tool ended up doing them like really cool and they're super close to being uniform. Pretty close. I'm gonna give it a little sanding. I don't know how the hell we're gonna mount it. Uh, that, that epoxy's gonna be so heavy. Well, we went with maple, so it's a hardwood. I'm gonna sand it first, because what we might do is I was gonna turn that down to a socket and then force her into this end and that should give us enough. I also have to like really thin it out, but it's only gonna be an inch, we'll see. Well, when you don't know what you're doing, you usually do it the way you know how to do it. And so what I'm doing is that, and I'm gonna use this sander while, this, while she spins. <laughs> Not a bad start. Now I wanna do this hilt back here and add some of these hearts. So here's my plan. I've got one of these wooden vices is gonna hold the top of it so I can then come down here. There's these nubs. I'm trying to kind of make those or something close to them. I think I'm just gonna kind of like freehand it to start and then come back with a file. Super cool, this is looking awesome. I'm getting to use some of my hand tools, which I don't get to use as much, um, but I do love, and if you love woodworking and you wanna get more into it, you gotta check out this week's sponsor, Woodcraft. Most of you guys know Woodcraft's been supporting the channel for years, and it's my go-to place for all things woodworking. That's where we got the lathe, the table saw, the planer, the joiner, all the tools you see in the shop. Tons of hand tools you could select from. They've got an incredible website that's showing off all the stuff that they got. And they got stores across the United States that you could physically go to and have yourself a good time. Appreciate Woodcraft supporting what we do, allowing me to build wild stuff just like this. And if you wanna do the same, check them out. You got a link down in the description. Thank you, Woodcraft. For those of you that didn't know, I'm weirdly love Star Wars. Now, I'm not like a crazy fan, but I did go and see episode three when it came out and I was in like, let's say eighth grade, three times in theaters and I saved the tickets. And I've just always been a fan of the franchise. I think they do a really phenomenal job of being super creative. And I've always been a fan of Obi-Wan. So with the new show coming out, I'm stoked. That's, so we made a blue lightsaber for that and a green because we're all about having backups, <laughs> more or less. But I need to turn this now into a cylinder. And I think it's almost firm. Got a little wobble to it, and now it's a katana. So we're gonna let that sit here for a minute. I think it looks pretty freaking sweet. Uh, it's sanded, I got the butt on, we've got these subtle little vertical parts down here to make it look more authentic. Now, the tricky part. I wanna embed an LED light inside of it of like the most absurd lumens that I can, so that way when we put the epoxy into the top, I can, I can potentially that sucker. We're gonna grab a point and shoot and sneak around Wally World, because we're not gonna ask for permission. Sorry, one more. Ain't nobody got time for that. Got this thousand lumen one. It should, everything should fit nicely inside this. It's rechargeable. We're gonna have to get pretty squirrely to make it fit inside this, but we have a semi kind of plan. So we're back. I'm gonna try to get the top off of this, but it has like a positive stop. To the porta band. Let's go cut it up. Back to the other side. I think we could take it back. Be like, hey, something happened. It's flashlight no work. It was like all in pieces and shit. Smushed it. Yep. Still has no power. And our flashlight's destroyed. Went and got another one. So we can break another one. We need this connection in this tube fully in order to make this sucker work with this guy. What I think we're gonna try to do is just cut the casing off of the top here like we did on this one and then pop the lens out and then take those parts out and kind of then embed this entire tube into the hilt on this side, run a wire that connect up to the light part. We just have to be crazy careful. We're gonna do one of my favorite things, be dainty. This has mounting screws for this little top plate in it. So what we're gonna do now is get a Forstner bit and we can reset 
access this the whole way down into here, which will still give us a nice room. And I like that size for the socket for the Sabre itself. Ha <laughs> ha! We have wires. Now we're gonna start with the lathe. Again, something I'm not very good at, and I don't even know if I have the right things to do this, because I don't have a super wide rest. But as I like to say, shit ain't gonna do itself. But we only got two shots to do this. And supposedly, those carbide tip tools that I have are a lot better for turning epoxy than your standard ones, because they work a little bit better with <laughs> what is basically plastic. This is about to be so dumb. Well, let's give it a turn. I think it's just because it's so long. All right, so I've got my grinding set up here and a brand new medium disc from our friends over at Cutsall, which you can snag up at the Woodcraft. My goal here is I'm just gonna kind of round it out as it's suspended like this. Maybe see if that, if it gets a little bit easier to turn once it's a little bit more round. Literally worse. All right, check this out. The only other funny person on YouTube, Paul Jackman, turn a lot of stuff. Dude's a pretty skilled turner. He used one of these jigs in one of his videos and I knew it existed, so what we did was we just went online, found a plan. So now we made it out of plywood and we got some brand new skateboard wheels instead. So what I'm doing is adjusting the jig to the point of the round that's as damn close to center as we can get it. So that way when I move it to the middle, it holds it in the center. We hope. All this is speculative and I've never done it before. But I saw it on the internet, so that makes me an expert. I mean, it's like a good three quarters of an inch off center. Like if you turn it up, you can see the center. See how far it's like out here? It's supposed to be like in here. Damn it, Bernice! Damn you, Bernice! <laughs> I'm gonna try to fucking turn it. Why not? It's spinning on this end. Like it needs to be more like that. When I put it in there, it bows. It should be working way differently than that. I don't think the epoxy's cured. Just being on, feel this, where the rubber is right here. Like it should just, it should be spewing off in streaks. It wants to bend at that soft spot right here. Like anytime I put pressure, see how I can literally twist it. See right here? It's putting so much heat on it, I can twist it. See that? Put on your gas mask. We're going to the metal shop. <laughs> so we'll put a heavy ass brace of wheel on this thing. I'm gonna get squirrely here and literally just try to like freehand shape this fucker. Excuse my language, kid, but I'm not pleased. It doesn't want to stay flat or straight. Like this table is perfectly flat. I want to get it to there, but it's like you can literally see it. Why <laughs> well, we're the squirrely squad? I think I need to let it sit because it's so freaking flimsy. The next day. After taking a break, we're back. We've got the base rocket and rolling. It was a little tag hanging off the LED here. And what we're going to do is shrink wrap these together and we have proof of concept. And to get this wire, I gutted something that came with it, but I can take this, we have a soldering kit that we had to get, and boom, we have light. So, to do this part, just gotta do a little bit of stuff that I suck at and I hate, but it's what it is, and then we'll get everything inside of the hilt. So I kinda have an idea of what I think we can do with the epoxy that should work. Not 100% on that quite yet, but let's get to this first. Solve one problem at a time. All right, let's try to get some on the tip. Oh, oh, oh. See, that's what we were trying to do. Sam, try that again. Yes. He's, he's fitting in. So it's time to give this sucker some color. I want it to look like wood, so I've got some tinted Rubio here that should allow us to wipe it on, wipe it off. Worst case, it does. We don't like the way it looks. I think this is the the best route. Not how they usually say to apply Rubio, but we gonna go with it. So I've been thinking about my Jedi name. What do you guys think? Chubby John Cannoli, cousin of Obi Wan Kenobi. Like this is just so upset, so wobbly. I literally don't think there's a safe way to do this at this point. Damn it! How the hell am I gonna, Jordan? Yeah. 
As a backup, we got some acrylic. If you think you could make the epoxy work, let me know how you would do it, because we're sure as hell not getting there, but we wanted to still make the coolest lightsaber we could. So I'm gonna cut this blue one down to about three feet, and then we gotta make a socket so it fits in the saber. I wanna drill a hole down here, because we have that, that's where that is. It doesn't have to be far. So I think if we can just, and then I'm just gonna be able to take a sander and like, I'll mark it and hold it. See if I can clean this edge up. Sam's favorite part. I think I burned it. Chubby John Cannoli approves. This thing turned out pretty sweet. Had a little bit of a hiccup with the epoxy, but I think this acrylic's an awesome solution. If you guys want to see me build more movie props or ridiculous projects like this, leave a comment down below. If you want to see more projects that are absolutely ridiculous, the whole playlist right here.